in all case, I think at least three dimensions are very important when you are designing an MIS to ensure that it's adapted to your country purpose and to your capacity. The first one I would like to highlight is um, the database structure on the logical framework uh, you are going to design for your MIS. It's very important to look at what already exists in your country. Uh, what are the data you've got already? What is the empowerment of the subnational level uh, you can achieve in accordance to their capacities? Uh, what are the existing database? How to ensure movement from one skin to from one skin to another? What are, how, how can we ensure that software is uh, compatible? That the technology is available in your country. The second point I would like to highlight is the governance. I think it's very important to to be aware that MIS is a very powerful tool that can enable to improve your social protection mechanism, but it can, there is a risk of uh, political manipulation, and I think we've talked of that already this morning a little, but it's very important when you design the governance of your MIS that you take into account this risk to mitigate that risk as much as possible. And as well, in terms of governance, one thing that is very important, and maybe we, I can insist a little bit on it because we, we haven't seen a lot of this morning, is the ability to produce reports and evaluation in a regular, regular basis of time uh, based on new um, MIS database. That is very important in your country um, to, to ensure the participation of all stakeholders and not only the government in the evaluation of the social protection mechanism. And I think MIS can be a tool for that as well. The last point I would like to highlight uh, is the complexity. I think it's something very important because um, MIS has to be used every day. You have to ensure the technology you, you suggest is uh, compliant with uh, the country you are working in and the capacities you are able to mobilize to work on, with you on this MIS. You have to ensure the coherence with time and cost constraints and budget constraints because if you design a very sophisticated MIS that will cover all social protection schemes, but with, you, you will have something very, very complex and nobody will ever be able to use it. And then it will be totally pointless and you will be back to your paper forms. I think the example we've had this morning from India uh, was really relevant and oh, we have to take into account um, the context of the country when we are uh, trying to decide what to implement. And I think you have to think in, in terms of complexity as well. And as it has been reminded this morning, there's, it's not a question of copying what the Western countries have done, because most of the time it won't be probably adapted, but they obviously have a lot of failure already because they are something that is so complex that nobody can understand it. So my last point is it is better to have a very simple tool that you are able to use every day and able to improve and to maintain and to have up-to-date data than having something very complex that nobody will ever use.